are you looking for a free platform for vibe coding apps? Let's discover Vibe Coder, the ultimate platform to vibe code apps directly from your browser using Cloud Code. What problems does it solve? First, you don't need to set up a development environment on your computer. No need for VS Code and Node.js and so on. And the best part, your Vibe coded projects are automatically deployed after every update. You just think about your app, prompt what you want, and Vibe Coder handles the rest. Vibe Coder is a new project by our Elestio team, still in its early stages, and we'd love your feedback to make it even better. Join our Discord community to share your thoughts. Link in the description. Let's Vibe Code a platform that connects freelancers with the businesses and startups, similar to Upwork. To start using Vibe Coder, head to ls.io and click on Login. Click on Deploy my first service, search Vibe Coder and select. From there, you can choose between different cloud providers, regions and service plans based on your needs. Once you have made your choice, click on Next. Adjust more advanced settings and choose between the different level of support. The first one is free and included by default. And once you're good, hit the create service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email to notify you, giving you a few instructions. Let's open the accessing the web UI link. It redirects you to your deployed app. But at the moment, what it is, it is instructions on how to use Vibe Coder. The first step is to access your Elestio dashboard, then display Vibe Coder UI and log in and start creating. Let's open Vibe Coder in Elestio. From there, we can get access to our credentials, copy the password. The username is root and let's open the Vibe Coder UI. Let's type a root and paste our password, then log in. Now we need to set up two-factor authentication setup. It's just a QR code that you have to scan with Google Authenticator or any authenticator you have on your mobile. Then you should get a code, type it and verify and complete setup. You have a warning if you want to enable push notifications, I will say later. And here we are inside the Vibe Coder. On the right, you have a preview of your app. So it's what we saw when we opened it earlier. And on the left, our Cloud Code instance. Let's set it up. We can choose between dark, light mode, whatever you prefer. I will choose the dark one. And then we need to connect our account. I have Cloud account with subscription, so I press one. And I will have to follow a link to authorize it. Let's open it. I authorize, it gives me a code, let's copy it, and they tell me paste code here if prompt, let's do it, and enter, perfect, login successful, press enter to continue, you have some security notes, okay, continue, do we trust, yes, and we now have it up and ready, but something I prefer to do is to create a new session, and from there, you have the choice between the normal mode or the sandbox mode. While I wouldn't recommend you to always use the sandbox mode, what I like is it will say yes to everything and I won't have to enter yes every time pressing enter. So let's say OK. And now it will run it in bypass permissions mode. So I can do everything. So yes, I accept. And I'm ready to vibe code my first app. Let's type our prompt, create an Upwork clone where startups post jobs and freelancers can apply to them. Of course, the quality of your prompts will impact the quality of your apps, but we can always fine tune it later. Let's press enter. And now it's vibe coding our app like it's usually doing it using cloud code. First, it's saying what it's going to do. It finished the first task, create project structure. Now it's setting up a database schema and models. I will just cut once everything is finished. All right, so it just finished it. Let's see if it's working. We can hit the refresh button here. And we can see Freelance Hub connect with top freelancers and great projects. We can also preview it using the preview button to view it in full screen. So let's see what it created. First, we have the landing page with latest job opportunities, but we have no job found, top freelancers. Let's ask to add some sample data. As I try to always be polite and motivating with AI, awesome. 
can you fill the database with sample data and it will do its magic it will create sample users sample job postings job applications and sample reviews and ratings perfect all right it says it finished it awesome now when we reload we can see the last opportunities then if we go below the top freelancers and the end of the landing page we can use find jobs let's see the different categories we have mobile development does it work if we search okay perfect we have flutter if we choose web development we have other profiles perfect and on the opposite side if we want to find talent we can see the different freelancer so far we can't open a profile so let's ask the ai to generate it and maybe about jobs is the same or oh no we can have the details perfect now please generate the profile page for freelancers okay it's finished they say go to find talent and we can see the different cards okay let's open find talent click on a profile and now it opens the freelancer page with the work experience portfolio reviews awesome let's try also if the sign up and login is working so sign up let's say john do a fake password and you have the choice if you are a freelancer or a startup let's say we are a freelancer sign up now i'm logged in i can click on dashboard you can see your applied job and your profile to edit it to appear in the talents and every time we had things like this into our app it's live directly when we follow the link if you are into watching what is the code and you want to adjust specific things you can open the files part and see that it created an upwork clone folder you can open it upload files or check the content of the different files if you want to code directly into it what you can do is because it's on elestio use the different tools open vs code here copy the password to your clipboard open the link paste it submit and you arrive in visual studio code a web version where you can browse your projects upwork clone front end index.html so here it created the project in vanilla javascript because i didn't give any guidelines but you could say create it in react in Vue. it will create it accordingly and do all the necessary configuration to deploy it and have your app running another great feature is that it is mobile responsive so you can vibe code directly on your mobile either by typing here on the bottom or you can also use the voice detection to vibe code apps without typing when we open vibe coder we use the root account which is the admin but in the admin section you can invite other users with an invite link allowing you to vibe code with your whole team thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed discovering vibe coder with us please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews if you want to continue your open source journey watch this video available here